Okay, I know it's already eight, and so if you need to go, feel free, but maybe we could take just five minutes or so for a little discussion. Uh, quite, a, quite an episode. So uh, that setup in part one that didn't have hardly any biblical material paid off with an episode packed with biblical material. Uh, plenty of reason for happy tears in this episode, but not everyone is happy at the same time. So any thoughts, reflections, questions, anything of that nature? Tanisha, let me get this to you. It definitely was a, a loaded episode um, from we all, whether it's us or whether we know somebody, we've all dealt in some way with um, an ailment uh, with our health. Um, like I said, whether you know someone or whether you're someone that's personally suffering from it. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard. It's, it's so hard, and I know that there are some people out there who wonder, like, why won't God heal me? And to see that play out, it, it takes me back to the verse of uh, those who will be last will be first, and those who will be first will be last. I'm not saying that this is definitely what it is. I'm just saying seeing it play out, it, it seems like it would appear to be, if you look at different things that go on in life, that maybe sometimes those who are suffering don't get the healing because it's not needed for their faith. Mm -hmm. Like, do you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I get what you're saying. This person over here may not ever get healed, but their faith isn't unwavering. This person over here, that might just be the stepping stone that they need to turn towards God because that's where they're at in their life. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and I saw that throughout that whole episode. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and even the thought of, you know, losing your child. And, and the amount of, of faith that was there, like, that also made me wonder, I mean, how many of us really have that level of faith? It, it made me, you know, like, ask myself, like, do you have that much faith? Because that's an immense amount of faith. It, it's one thing to believe in God and, and to trust him when things aren't going right, but to be right there, like he literally saw his, his daughter dead and he still believed. Yeah. There's just, ugh, there's, yeah. there's so much in that. I felt such uh, pity, I guess, on the synagogue ruler when he found out the child had passed because uh, there was like this look of helplessness on his face, like, he didn't know that was going to happen. And he hasn't, at that moment, thought through, like, oh, Jesus can still raise her. Like, that's, that's the next level. And when Jesus tells him, like, you know, just believe, all will be well, that was a powerful moment. Yeah. Uh, Barbara. So I've heard in so many teachings that Jesus' miracles had a purpose yeah. more than just the healing of that person. Some had to do with working faith in one person. Maybe others didn't need it. But whatever the answer is, it always falls back to God has a purpose for whether he chooses to heal someone or not. Yeah. And I don't think that we can look at ourselves and say, well, I just didn't have enough faith. Yeah. Or that person just didn't have enough faith. Yeah. But I do have faith that God had a purpose for whether that person died or not or suffered or had that illness or 
such there's a purpose for it. Yeah. And this question that, you know, why are, in, in this case with Jesus, why are some people being healed and others are not, you know, and we ask the world today, like, why are some, some great people suffering immensely and others are experiencing, like, deliverance from certain things? Uh, that's, this season is not done exploring that with this episode. This is going to keep going. Uh, so, and, and we've proposed some answers, and I think they're good answers, but I think we all know sometimes things defy answers, and, and the show will not hide from that. It won't try to put a, every, a, a nice little bow on everything, but it's, uh, they're good questions to ask because they're just part of, they're part of life. Anyone else? I normally try to think of a few things to say myself while I'm watching the episode. I really didn't this time because I was just enjoying watching the episode again. And so I'm sorry that I'm a little bit at a loss for, uh, for things to add. Um, one thing I'll just reiterate that I mentioned last week, uh, something the, and, and I'm not spoiling anything when I say this because the director was saying this throughout the course of the season. They wanted to take Jesus' teaching Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden, I'll give you rest. That's kind of the theme tying this season together. And they really wanted to do justice to people who, like, not just go straight to the rest, but show the weary and heavy laden part before you get to the rest, because that's the way real life is. Like, these people are truly weary. And uh, we saw a great moment of it with the woman with the flow of blood. And Jesus says, like, you must be exhausted, right? She's truly been weary and heavy laden. And um, that's going to... That's going to continue throughout the uh, throughout the season, and I, I appreciate that the show is is not s- moving past the difficult parts and getting straight to the joyous moments. It's doing justice to the difficult parts as well. Anything else before we wrap up? All right. Well, uh, I can't remember much about the episode that comes next so I I can't say anything about next week but be here next week for uh, another episode and um, thank you all for being here tonight so we'll dismiss uh, with a prayer so bow with me Father God thank you for bringing us together tonight thank you for this time that uh, we could spend together we ask that you bless us as we depart from here keep us safe as we go home Father we're so thankful that um You are with us, and we're so thankful that you help us in our walk with you, and we ask that you'll continue to bless us with faith, that you'll bless us with faith when things are going well, when things are going terribly, when things are going everywhere, everything in the middle, and we know some things sometimes defy answers, or at least answers that are clear to us. We know that you know them, but answers that are clear to us, and we just ask that you will bless us and empower us and Help us to have continual faith in you uh, at every moment in life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Thank you, everybody.